Hello, Namaste. Welcome or welcome back to Great Tarot. So, how are you? I hope you're doing good. I hope it's an amazing day. Okay, so the topic for today is about your prayers. So, what prayers of yours have been answered by your angel, spirit team, God, okay, by universe? Let's see. So, for group number one, you have this image with the charm, the wheel. For group number two, you have the lotus charm. And for group number three, you have the cat. Okay, so close your eyes, relax, connect with the intuition and choose a group that calls to you intuitively. Take your time, pause the video. Remember, these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And these are timeless readings as well. So I will see you in your group. Namaste group number one. If you have chosen this wheel, okay, wheel charm and you have this year with number five profit prophecy so you are uh, praying for some pr uh, changes in your life and that changes is definitely going to happen so for some of you uh, it can be like you want control over something something the something feels like it's out of your control and you feel like like i want this thing in my control and that's exactly what is happening for some of you it can be your mind out of control thinking all the negative thoughts and you, you 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 might be praying that i don't want to think like this i want to be more positive if that is the case that's happening for some of you it's like you are uh, focusing on your intuitive abilities and you're praying to grow that you're meditating you're doing all the work to grow that that is going to happen and i even feel like you are going to use it very well you're going to use your intuition very well you're going to use it to the highest uh, capability like that's what it is you're going to maximum utilize your intuition that's what it feels like you're listening to your heart and that's why uh, there is a little bit control that is coming your way uh, maybe you're people who have gone through a lot of unpredictable times like uh, you have met people who are very unpredictable and that when we deal with these, those kinds of people it put a lot of pressure on us and you don't want that you want a little bit control so if you are at these uh, unpredictable situations you maybe you're praying that i need the control i need to control uh, the things that i say uh, I, I need to re uh, respond rather than reacting. Maybe that is what you're praying for. Maybe now you are going to meet someone who are a little bit unpredictable and you're, you might be praying like, I don't want to get angry. I don't want to ruin my mood because of other people. I need to have that control divine. Yes, you're going to have that control. And one, one tip I feel like uh, spirit is uh, giving you here is to trust your intuition, uh, to trust your inner com compass. The more you trust, the more better your life will be so if you are going to meet someone during holidays and they're a little bit tough uh, so maybe there is a little bit of fear and you're praying that everything should be smooth i need to have that control you will have that control okay that's what that's what the uh, uh, that's what the answer maybe you've been praying for that right you need control over your life and that's what you're getting the wheel is in your hands right so I see that you will be responding to situation, not reacting because you have been working on yourself. You have been building your intuition and now your intuition is very, very strong with this prophecy. You can actually protect yourself because you're very intuitive. So you will feel like, ah, oh, today maybe this person will act like this. I, I, I need to, um, I need to just do this. You will know it in your heart. It feels like. The things ones that were very unpredictable are predictable for you now. So you know how to react or how to respond to situations. So you will have a good time if if you're dealing with someone who's very unpredictable or something like that. So there is a lot of control over your thoughts. That's one thing. You're not overly negative now. You're focusing more on positive thoughts. That is something I feel like. So your mind is going to be very clear. If you're, uh, if you're praying for that clarity, control, that's what is... Uh, happening here okay so let's see more uh, we have the tea leaves uh, so yes let's see what is your answered prayer and yellow there is a lot of brightness there is a lot of brightness you're not going to be in the dark anymore you are shining as well look we are getting the justice here uh, i'll take more we have lots of tea leaves here okay okay so let's see Oh, this can be a younger man. <laughs> that is so unpredictable, right? And maybe they have been controlling you in some way. And now you are not going to be controlled by them. Okay. So this is candle. Look, 
the light the yellow we have the involvement involve, involvement with the law then we have hand assistance and we have like again you're getting out of this uh, trouble accusation that this person put on puts on to you right so yes this can be your sibling this can be uh, i don't know this person can be anyone maybe for some of you are involved with this person with some court issue yeah things have been feeling like it's getting out of your hand that's not the case anymore you're going to be shown the light you're going to be shown the direction and things are in your control yes this is a, this is a person who might be accusing for something that you haven't done so yeah so that's that's what the clarity is here yes so this can be a friend of yours this can be anyone right but this person might be younger than you yeah Yeah, for some of you, there is some sort of issues here. Yeah, there are some issues and you have always felt whenever you deal with this person, everything is out of hands because this person is very, very unpredictable. They might uh, accuse you of something that you might not have even done. And now you're meeting it, meeting them for something, for meeting, whatever it is, right? So you're a little bit worried and you're praying Please God help me, right? I want control over this thing. And that's exactly what you're getting with this hand. And with this candle, divine is showing you the way. Trust your intuition. Things are going to be in your control. Very clear message here, right? Wow, you have cried. You have cried. This is something has made you so, so, it has given you so much of pain because things were out of your control no matter what you did. Nothing worked out in your favor, but that's changing here. You're going to be shown the light. You're going to be shown the way there will be help that will be given to you guys. And the outcome will be justified and you will be very ha happy with the outcome because now finally things are, are going to be in your control. Yes. Wow. So that, that's what the message is. Okay, so let's see. You know, interestingly, what I said, I've, I get, got that from your uh, tea leaf cards. So let's see. <clears throat> so what the tarot has to add so about your answered prayer so group number one yes oh we have the wheel of fortune again look again the wheel the wheel is turning in your favor yes okay this can be a court issue that is that is ending finally it's 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 something that you have control over uh, uh, the outcome is something that you hoped for that's what the outcome is now you're happy you're dancing because you're over and done with this thing this trouble this accusation that you have you now you are in control now you don't have to follow anyone's uh, uh, guidance you don't have to uh, go to places where you don't have to go maybe because of this person you had to um, you know you had to come to court even though you didn't want to go now finally that's all gone that's ended now you don't have to worry about now you're celebrating so trust the advices trust your intuition because your because your angels uh, there is there might be a person also who is helping you uh, i kind of feel like that but definitely your angels are showing you the way trust your intuition yes this tough time of yours where you felt like you're you're not in control of your own life is ending now things are in your control and that's why you will be celebrating so let's see here Yes, again, it feels like the spider web, you're out of the spider web. This person have weaved some sort of web, okay, for, because this is a general reading. We got the specific of a younger man. Maybe it's not a younger man, but definitely they might be older, but they have the thought process of a younger man. It feels like a person who might be an older one, but he's a baby, right? Because their thinking is that much only. We can say that as well. Yeah like man child or something like that i don't know but yeah that that feels like the person who might be of like 50s but they are like acting like a 20s right it can be that as well they don't they don't act mature for their age uh, so yes you're you're getting rid of this person finally maybe because of this person you felt like your life is not in control because they have been weaving some sort of lies they might have been lying about you they have been gossiping about you and you're like because of this person, I don't know uh, what's going to happen next. And finally, that chapter of your life is ending. Wow, you're getting uh, freed from this thing. From this person, whatever they do, right? 
or oh, this can be a co-worker anyone right but yes that's what you will be celebrating that yes two of wands a like two-faced person here this might be and finally now you can plan for your life ahead now you don't have to deal with this thing you know sometimes in life these people can create a lot of chaos in our life and this these these small small issues they create can affect us very much, very deeply. And what happens is we, are, we will not be able to focus on the things that we want to grow because of these people, because we are focusing on them, right? And finally, that's ending. Now you can plan and prepare for the, uh, for the things that you want to achieve in your life, uh, that you want to grow, right? You have that freedom now. That's what the energy is. So again, wow, right? You're over. The, this is this trouble. Accusations are all over now. Now you can travel, maybe you were not able to travel because of this person, because there were some issues with the code, so you were not able to, uh, you were not able, you were not allowed to travel, something like that, okay, yeah. <laughs> Look, uh, again, this, this trouble, this has been troubling you for a while, like the eagle, now you're over it, you're healing this thing, yes, with this four of swords, that's the thing. Now you can follow your heart, now you can travel wherever you want to travel, now you have the freedom right this thing has taught you a lot this thing have taught you to trust your intuition more and more and more trust your heart more and more and more uh, i feel like you are someone who is very intuitive but at the same time sometimes you don't trust but you you have learned to trust your intuition this this person might not be a good a good person but the, through this person you learn to trust yourself that's the lesson i feel like you're you have been learning right and um, you are rising above the fray, you are rising above the troubles now, uh, you are rising above the accusation because the truth is out, you have cleared, you are free, you have the freedom, that's what the message is. So now things are in your control, yes, that's what the message is. So let's see the final piece of information here for group number one. Okay, it's on the floor, let me take it for you, give me a second, oh look. Again, I was talking about it required a lot of strength from your part, isn't it? This person has really troubled you. I feel like that. And now you're free from this thing. But as this person was troubling you, you were building your courage. You were building your strength. So at the end, the lesson is you learn to love yourself more. You learn to trust yourself more. The connection you have with your, yourself has improved. The connection that you have with the universe has improved. So that all the advantages that you got from this lesson, right? And it, it was a re really hard lesson. But sometimes we learn uh, like this only, right? And it's it's not fair, but that's that's the thing. But I feel like you, you are not going to judge anymore uh, your past and all the mistakes that you have done. You are not going to judge because now you're in touch with your intuition. Now you are more confident than before. So this all, this all things have made you learn to love yourself more and more and more. I feel like that. It has shown you how strong you are, how courageous you are. How can you fight back? How can you be a warrior, right? How can you overcome these challenging times, these unpredictable times? You've learned that. Yes. Now you know how to detect the, the red flags. You have learned that. Now you're not going to give energy to these kinds of people. That is also something that you have learned. Now you know how to stand up for yourself. To share your opinions so this is like kind of a, a new life that you're beginning where you will not have to deal with these kinds of energies anymore because you are going to follow your instincts you are going to follow your uh, intuition so you are not going to attract these kinds of lower vibe energies anymore now you are taking your life back your control you know your life is in control life is in order now you're taking chances that you were not able to take chances because of these issues and all because you were, you were not able to think properly because this this thing gave you a lot of stress right and now you're over it now this is the beginning of a new you the confident you who is ready to shine ready to show up and ready to live a wonderful life that's what i feel like for group number one okay uh, so hats off for, hats off for you guys because you have dealt with a lot, a lot i feel like uh, but this has made you so much strong. So I, I even feel like even though you have gone through these all things, you're very thankful uh, to divine uh, that uh, that you had the strength to overcome all this thing. And that's how beautiful you are. Okay. So keep on shining group number one. You are shining. So that's all the messages. 
uh, for uh, group number one. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. So, this day, group number two, your prayers have been answered. You have the lotus blossoming, is the word that I'm getting. So, you have been praying for your success. You have been praying like divine, I'm open to receiving. Give me all the things that I want. And yes, that's what you're getting. You're weaving. A life that you want to weave, right? That you want to live in. You are creating your own uh, dream reality. You have been working towards it and you're ready for that. You're ready for your dream life. You're ready to live a life based uh, on the way you want to live, right? And yeah, that's what is happening, okay? With this cosmic weaver potency, that's what I'm seeing here. We have the number six, maybe you are life path number six or six might be an important number for you guys or the... Coming June might be an important month for you guys where you will you will be in a place where you wanted to be in your life, in your career, something that you wanted to unlock, you will be there. Okay, for some of you, this can be a home that you want. By the next June, you will be in that, in that dream home of yours. It feels like you are opening up. You're not resisting anymore, right? Because uh, you have spiritually grown a lot. Uh, you understand how universe operates. So... You have been working with your lim limited belief system, right? And you have been letting go of that. You have been healing. So now I feel like you're finally opening up and now you're receiving what was once blocked, right? And we have the blue color. So of course, uh, there is uh, you have been purifying things, right? You have been letting go of uh, the things that were not good for you guys. You have been purifying your words. You have been, you know, sometimes uh, how we talk to ourselves is very important. Uh, sometimes we have not been taught that, isn't it? Uh, how sometimes we criticize ourselves, we sh uh, share very you know bad thoughts about ourselves, and that can cause a lot of obstacle in our path. And I feel like you have been purifying that, you have been purifying your thoughts, and that's all is giving you a you know you are going to uh, enjoy a life that you want to enjoy. So you are unlocking your dream life. That's what I feel like, and you're receiving all the good that you want to. Receive. I feel like you have uh, you have been uh, praying to God, like give me all the blessings uh, that are mine, right? And you're going to get it. <laughs> that's 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 the energy I'm feeling here. So a lot of blossoming. Um, no, nothing is going to stop your blossom, like the uh, lotus blossoms in a muddy water. No one can stop you anymore. Um, I I even feel like there might be someone who is jealous around you. Uh, so protect your energy, saging, uh, calling upon Archangel Michael will be good. Uh, and one more thing I have to say is if you have a belief system regarding that like evil eye I, uh, I get that evil eye very quickly I feel like you need to work on that belief system let it go um, just pray and you and have this belief system that your guides will always protect you from harm okay so let's see what is your answer prayer group number oh, again her earrings looks like locks and uh, I feel like the, the, you're finding the key and uh, you're unlocking your dream life. So, and the blue color. Maybe blue color is something that you should wear often and blue color is throat chakra. Communication is opening. You are able to express yourself now. You're not stopping yourself from any kind of expression. You're expressing yourself. You're standing up for yourself. You're saying what needs to be said. Yeah. You're not taking other people's energy as well. You're very strict with that. You're setting good boundaries. I see that. Oh uh, yeah, I'm going. I'm feeling like you are going to be very good with your boundaries, and you need that because you take other people's energy very quickly. So let's see. Okay, I have more tea leaves. Okay, so let's see more. Okay, so yeah. Oh, so we have, uh, wow, position of authority. Again, with these bells, you know, uh, use bells to uh, let go of this negative energies. Using bells will be good. Then we have affairs with your family. Okay, we have uh, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Okay, we have door opportunities are waiting for you. Forces working against you, affairs with your family, okay. <laughs> because I feel like maybe there is someone in your family that is that will not like that you are 
uh, getting all the success, all the recognition. You know, it, it can be not because they don't love you. It's, it's just because they feel like they lack it. So sometimes without even realizing, they might send you negative energy. Uh, so be, uh, yeah, so don't share all the secrets with everyone. <laughs> I feel like that. So only share the secrets uh, with, uh, with the trustworthy people. So if you're getting like l more money or a very good position, uh, I feel like uh, uh, there is a time to share certain things. Share it only after that. So if you are pregnant, right, share after like five months. Tell I'm pregnant. Don't share at the starting stages like that. Like that's the energy I'm getting here. Okay. Uh, so if you have something, if you are planning something big right now, because I see that you're ready for a lot of things. You're working on certain things and you're ready for the big success, big things you want in your life. You're ready. You're ready for that good, uh, good position. You're ready for this higher level right you're ready to take action you're ready uh, to get out of your comfort zone and do and try uh, try new things you're ready for that right uh, but uh, sometimes when you start something uh, it's better to keep it secret the 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 less people knows this that's the better okay so that's something i feel like uh, it's an advice for you guys there are a lot of uh, opportunities. Look again, the door and the throne. So there is definitely a good opportunity that will take you to the next level that's happening. Again, there might be someone in your family that might not be so happy with it. Uh, maybe it's because they lack. It doesn't mean that they hate you or something like that. That's not what I'm getting. It's like a little bit of envious energy. So keep, the, uh, keep all your plans to yourself and share it only after you have reached a point where you can share where you're sure right again with the script it can be about your business that you're starting it can be about a project that you're starting it can be about the money that you're investing whatever it is right uh, so um, there is uh, there is huge opportunities coming your way and if there has been certain problems that, that you want to get rid of that is also going to be uh, that, that is something that you will be overcoming with this bridge I feel like that you are in between worlds right now you are in the middle, right? You are not where you started, but you are not where you want to go, right? You are in the middle. And that's where you're praying. Like, I'm ready to pass this bridge. I'm ready for this new life that I want. And that's what is exactly happening for you guys, okay? So keep on doing what you're doing because I feel like you're on the right track. Uh, you're going good. Uh, you, I feel like for some of you, you need to have some sort of protection rituals. Uh, if you can sage every day, that would be very good. And maybe... Uh, when you wake up you, you can just call upon Archangel Michael and ask for his protection that will really really help you okay so yeah there are good opportunities new I feel like for some of you if you have been praying for a new job that will pay you well that's happening a new position that will pay you well that's happening if you want uh, to you know if you are someone who is doing a business and you are praying for the increase that's happening yes so let's see <laughs> for some of you marriage as well yeah so let's see what the tarot has to add so what is your answer here group number two okay So we have the eight of coins, ten of wands, ace of swords and oh this is about your work okay. Something re regarding your career I feel like that's with this eight of pentacles here. Uh, yes again with this ten of wands I can see that you are someone who is really really working hard uh, to get to the other side right to reach your goal but you haven't reached yet right with this ten that's what is ending. So here you're praying for uh, this raise in your position or maybe raise in your income right something like that or business you want that expansion you want to get recognized more uh, so yes this is what who you are right now I feel like that you're a little bit tired doing all the work but this work that you're doing with this eight of coins this is something that you really really like right and you want to grow it and that's exactly going to happen this can be with your studies as well whatever it is you're going to get whatever you're working towards okay if, if it means like passing an examination uh, you know there are certain 
yeah there are certain examination when you pass you can get a job if you are working towards that i feel like that's coming so this is the position of authority this is a new job that you're getting that will give you a lot of recognition people will be very happy when you receive that uh, kind of uh, fame your family will be happy but there is someone without they knowing they might send you a little bit of negative vibes so stay if you know who is this stay away from them don't share your secrets maybe this can be a air sign person as well uh, with the skin of swords they are someone who might cross your boundaries right they might be a little rude they might be very opinionated opinionated uh, yes maybe this is someone who you have dealt with in the past okay for some of you this can be a person for other people the message is like um, with the skin of swords uh, you need to be look queen of swords energy if you look at she's very very strong okay um, you know if you look at the right away tarot um, uh, like there is a lot of in the background uh, it's all like uh, the winds are there it's very strong the ba background looks very very chaotic but she's standing strong and if you look at in this there is a lot of heads here right uh, so I feel like this is a story of a woman she didn't want to marry and um, and whenever someone comes uh, she might challenge them and they f when they fail the challenge she used to cut their heads so she's not that uh, compassionate person right uh, uh, and she's very strong mentally she's very strong she doesn't waver uh, and here I feel like this one uh, one advice for you guys is uh, don't waver right now uh, don't waver keep on going be you know keep on persevering don't give up right now because you will be reaching the other side that's one thing for other people if there was a person who cut you with words uh, maybe they are family member uh, so this is the person I feel like you need to a little bit stay away from don't share your secrets with them okay and with ace of wands I feel like you will be getting clarity who this person is um, maybe 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 there will be a conversation that will make you understand who this person is so be aware of it in the coming days and here with this eight of swords and ace of swords yes there is like this click the clarity you're getting regarding something for some of you this can be uh, clarity regarding your work as well that will take you to the next level what you need to do you will understand again this is a message that divine will give you and you will uh, get an idea oh i can do this this way so it will be easy for me to get uh, uh, to solve this problem so yes that is also there and if there is a problem in your life you're asking for the solution the solution is going to be given to you guys the clarity is going to be given to you guys okay so yeah so a, a very good life ahead i feel like something you're passing something you're passing a test you're getting some sort of uh, position that will make you really really happy so let's see the final message here a goal you are completing a goal that you have been really really working hard on with this eight of coins <clears throat> so final messages for group number two oh pleasure oh this is uh, <laughs> We have the pleasure and we have the cleansing oh look, did i mention look at the color look look at you know these both cut uh, two cards look so much same and here uh, i did talk about purification and that's what exactly i'm getting here you're cleansing those kinds of thoughts um uh, that doesn't help us doesn't serve us right oh, you're focusing on uh, good thoughts yes uh, so you have been cleansing something right and that's working out in your favor and we have the pleasure card with that yes you are going to um, going to get this wish come true so that you have been praying for so it's like you have been clearing the past uh, you, yes you have been clearing some sort of uh, belief system I think I mentioned some sort of limited beliefs that you had you have been clearing it now ready for that pleasure that ready for that good things ready to cross the bridges right uh, you're you're ready for that uh, for some of you if you want an independent life a free life I feel like that's what is coming because this job of yours will give you that uh, financial freedom that you are aiming for 
and she has a lot of gold <laughs> so for some of you you will be able to buy something that you always wanted to buy some sort of luxurious item some you know you will be able to gift yourself some good things or maybe you will be able to gift things for your family yes that is also something i'm seeing here so yes you are creating your dream life you're getting a job that you always wanted to get because you've been really really working hard on it i see that okay uh, and again with this queen of swords if whenever you want to set boundaries uh, do it don't carry any shame or guilt with it if someone is crossing that boundary that means they just don't value your your, your you or maybe they just don't they're just getting advantage because that's how they can use you right so some people cross the boundaries because of that because they are getting some advantage always remember that so that's all uh, for group number two hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye namaste group number three so let's see what is your answer answer prayer your prayers are going to be answered what is it let's see so we have the cat and we have the home okay so you're coming back to your yourself your own heart uh, for some of you really if you want to travel to your home maybe you are in a place very far away from your home uh, maybe you you are in a city or a town and you're very away from your parents maybe they stay in a place where there's a lot of greenery and you have been uh, uh, been feeling like you need to go back to home and i feel like you have been praying maybe there has been certain obstacles that obstacles will be cleared and you will be going back to home for some of you this is you want some sort of alone time for yourself a home to yourself where you can do all the things that you want to do so finally you will be able to pay for that apartment that house that you want I really feel like you are someone who wants to have a garden, you want to do something with plants, maybe that makes you happy or maybe you are a witch who wants to do certain spells and also for that you want a space, you're getting that space, you're very psychic also I feel like for some of you, uh, yeah, it, it feels like you want a space for yourself where you can be you, where you can do things by yourself, even if you're alone it doesn't matter, matter to you but you want a space. And that space is coming, that home that you want is coming. For some of you, this is your, uh, you are coming back to yourself, right? Coming back to the things that you used to enjoy, you used to love. I feel like you will be doing that more. But definitely this, this feels like a hermit energy uh, where you're spending time with yourself, not spending time with the people who are taking your energy, sucking your vibe and all. You're spending quality time with yourself. You have time for yourself. Not a very hush hush kind of life. It's like a it's like a slow living where you can enjoy the goodness of life, enjoy the nature. If that's what you want, that's just, that is what is happening here. Okay, yeah. We have the purple color as well. So you want to be more connected to divine. You want to be more spiritual. If that is the thing that you want, that's happening. You want to know more about yourself. You want to know more about your life purpose. Uh, if you yeah if that is what you are aiming for that's what is happening so you are going to find something that clicks with you you're going to find something that makes you happy makes you very passionate you want that kind of passion in your life and that's what is coming you have been not feeling home for a while and you want to feel like that you want to be you know sometimes we feel like this is not our home this place is not ours i want to go there i want to go that so that that dream of yours is coming true here for some of you this is like you want to be alone you want to be alone you want to be uh, uh, to move on to move to a house where you can spend time with yourself where you can decorate the home the way you want for some of you maybe you want to do some sort with plants or maybe uh, you want to do plant magic i don't know herbalist or something like that if you want to if you want to do that i feel like that is also something is going to happen here okay and again you have offered something to divine for some of you i really have offered like i want this thing have you done that maybe you have offered something to a deity recently like maybe uh, flowers you have offered flowers or you have offered milk or sweets like this is the deal you know this is something i want really deeply uh, and i feel like that prayer is also going to be answered so that's specific here so let's see you're know you're going to know more about yourself who you are what why you came here you're getting your answers yes so let's see so spend some quality time with yourself with it with the cat that is also i feel like uh then let's see 
you're getting to know yourself okay hmm. okay so let's see we have uh, sorrow over a lost family which is coming true so this is a wish and you know you have prayed for a wish and that is a wish you thought that you have lost but then to you prayed for it and that wish of yours is coming true that uh, uh, that is getting answered maybe this is a family wish right again home something like that maybe your family have wished that and now they don't see that happening but you have faith in divine so you just prayed like please make it happen something like that is happening here okay yeah it is not only going to make you happy but the people who love you love you cherish you will also be very very happy yeah look we have honor and respect will come to you or oh, slowly but surely getting ahead okay we have a person who is behaving uh, yes mm, and we have time to go out and have fun again the purple color look at the purple color this is your color we have the purple here purple here purple here so i picked up different different colors for each pile and for you it's purple so wear purple and you're very very connected to spirit right uh, your intuition is very strong uh, strong i feel like i'm feeling the energy of class sentience from you guys yeah again we have a purple here as well so much of purple uh, your aura might be purple uh, so yes your higher chakras are really open so you're getting information you're getting messages from spirit uh, when you uh, when you are sleeping you know in your dreams you might be receiving certain messages certain information uh, so please take that into consideration and whenever you feel like you need to make a move you need to call someone do that because you will get something out of it okay trust that uh, so again for some of you this can be uh, a wish that you have for your family maybe there was some issue that happened and there was little bit of disrespect uh, given to your family by other people that disrespect is going to go and your family will be getting that recognition that they deserve you know sometimes because of some people maybe they have spread some lies with this talkie i feel like that they might have done something they might have said something about your family so you know sometimes uh, because of it your family had a bad name or a bad reputation i feel like that's what is going did you pray for that right uh, yes so more respect is coming not only to you but your family as well so yes yeah so maybe some lies or some gossip was there about your family and your family never thought that they will be able to reclaim that right uh, reclaim that name because of this person's stupidity uh, they might have lost something some honor some some sort of position maybe it, it can be a family member or you might have lost a position that was very near and dear to you that is what is coming ahead slowly but surely that that recognition uh, that that you have lost or your family has lost it's coming so enjoy life right now trust your instincts uh, trust the messages you're getting slowly but surely things are changing here Yes, it really feels like that because of someone's uh, someone's uh, gossip or something like that. Someone did something stupidly, uh, or in your family, someone said did something. Uh, you know, sometimes one person who uh, do something stupid in your family, all the family members suffer in some way because the society is like that, right? And uh, maybe you your family had a big name, good name um, uh, in the place where you lived, and that was uh, sh uh, gone, right? And it created a lot of loss. Uh, uh, all your family members were sad because they appreciated that i feel like finally that is coming back again reclaim uh, claiming right we are reclaiming something that was lost because of some sort of stupidity of a person right and finally things are slowly and beautifully moving ahead here so yeah that's what the message is so let's see it can be about you it can be about family as well uh, just uh, just you know fit in, into your uh, life uh, because this is a general reading we have like climbing the stairs yes reclaiming something look oh wow healing from the betrayal of someone's okay we have yes let me take the card on the floor we, we have two cards on the floor i'll take that 
Oh, we have Queen of Wands and Two of Swords. Yes. Again, look. So, um, you might have been betrayed by someone. Or your family might have been betrayed by someone's stupidity or something like that with this ten of uh, because I feel like she's the goddess of water. I don't remember the name. Uh, she was betrayed by her father, right? So yes, um, then she became very angry. I feel like, um, like something like that. She, uh, yeah, so like that only. But with this four of swords, you're healing with that. You're healing that. You're reclaiming that. So something, someone might have betrayed you or your family. They took something that was yours, the honor they took away from you and you have been praying for that, right? Uh, this has caused a lot of chaos, a lot of conflicts, uh, yeah, restrictions as well, I feel like that. So she's burning in the fire and the fire is created uh, by other people, other people's, uh, it was not even yours, right? You were not the problem. You didn't do anything, but they made up like you did it and you were burning the fire that was created by other people. Because they wanted certain advantage from you or your family. So yes, so that that is ending. You're healing from that thing. And you're moving forward. You're finding your independence. You're finding your honor. You're finding that respect. You're finding yourself. You're reclaiming yourself. For some of you, this can be, okay, this can be with family. The other part is you were being betrayed by someone, right? Or maybe they said something very bad and this relationship ended in betrayal maybe they betrayed you and it can really really affect us right and in that we lose ourselves we lose ourselves and here i see you are getting back you're climbing the stairs again you're becoming the person you were you're focusing on yourself you're loving yourself you're getting the independence you're free from this thing this betrayal is not going to uh, cause any emotions anymore you're free from that you're trusting yourself you're going ahead, you're living your life to the fullest, you're going out and having fun, slowly but surely things are looking good for you guys, yes, you're cutting, you're cutting the cords with these people, yeah, that's the message here. So the final information for group number, so again with the cat here, you're going to be with the people who you love. You're not going to be with the people who are like this, right? You're healing from this betrayal. You're stepping ahead. You're uh, making your own dream co come, str come true. You're focusing on your home, yourself. You're focusing on your creative endeavors. You're shining. Yeah. So yes, that's what it is. This is over. This betrayal, whatever it is, you're over this thing. You're, I feel like you're now, you are, you are becoming someone who is, mo who is, connecting more to God, to universe, and that's how you're thriving. Now you're going to be dependent on only God, I feel like. I, I really feel like that. Um, so let's see the final message here. God, spirit, universe. Now you're focusing on yourself, climbing the stairs and doing whatever you were not able to do because of these things. Desire, yes, you were not able to uh, do something that you that you wanted to do in your life because there was someone who was restricting you who was not giving you the freedom again this can be a relationship right the energy I'll just pick I'm just saying like this can be a family that was restricting you uh, they were not giving you the the things that you wanted they might have betrayed you in many ways like they say there is the betrayal can come in many forms right for a small child your parents promise you something and they don't give it. That's betrayal, right? A small child can feel it deeply when someone promises us something and they don't fulfill the pro promise. It can cause a lot of pain, uh, right? Um, yeah, when, so, when, when sometimes we feel like this person will support me and, they don't, and then they don't support, that can cause a lot of betrayal. So this can be a family thing, uh, anything it can be. For some of you, this can be about you, about family. As I mentioned, there are, there are a lot of things. So just uh, just uh, fit in with your story, okay? So I feel like there was a point in your life where you stopped desiring a beautiful life for yourself because you thought that this is your life, that you have to stay in this betrayal because you were focused on that. But finally, you're healing that. You're healing that. You're letting go of these people. And now you are moving ahead where you are your connection with the divine, I see that is the most important part here. The connection with the divine is very, very strong. Where you're trusting divine, you're trusting the ideas and you're, you're, uh, you're desiring good things for yourself. You're taking action 
uh, towards a life that you want to enjoy for yourself. It feels like you're coming back to yourself. You're coming back to home, the home that you lost. Like sometimes we lose ourselves in certain things. We don't feel ourselves. Now you're coming back to yourself. That's the thing. Okay, this is a fresh start. Definitely the rainbows. The hard part is over. Slowly but surely things are moving, moving forward. Your life is coming together. That's what I have to say here. You're climbing the stairs one step at a time. You're getting the recognition. You're making the things that you lost. Now you're making it up again. You're building it again. Again, a person who got married and they didn't go to school. They didn't study. They got married. They focused on their children. And now they're at a stage where they got a divorce, right? Because someone cheated or some... It can be betrayal. Now, for some time they lost their soul. They don't know what to do. But now they're picking up. Picking up. Now they're doing... They're getting back to school. They're studying. Like that. That's the energy here. They're desiring more. They're living a life for themselves, not for other people. That's what it feels like. Group number three. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Take care.